Welcome back to Aussie Beekeeping. So today we're going to be getting into these three abandoned hives. Two weeks ago I put the excluder on top of these bottom boxes. Today we're going to strip off those three top boxes that are full of honey and assess the new frames that we put down the bottom. Let's get into it. So straight into this first hive. The lid's obviously still full of honey. I actually thought I'd put a mat on top of these, but I actually didn't. So I'm going to pop this box off, check the underside, see if we can't work out what's happening with this queen. Just so many bees in this hive. Much easier to work already. So that's all pollen. Really nice. And you can see these bees are still bringing in pollen here. frame in that's all brewed I'm basically just checking for eggs in this inspection once I've found the queen or at least her eggs I can take that other box off It's got no wires on it, so I just have to be very careful. It's really in good nick this hive, isn't it? So many bees, really nice brood and plenty of stores. So it looks like we've got eggs in that frame. Looks like all cap brood on that one. Jeez, that, that wax is really weak, isn't it? Almost lost that. And that's okay, I mean for a brood nest it doesn't really matter, and I suppose it doesn't really matter for honey frames either, unless you're going to spin them, there's our queen, look at that. She's a really really nice looking queen, she looks nice and healthy. Pop her back in. At least we know we're queen right in this bottom box. So this is not too bad, this box, is it? So I've got another box here I'm going to pop on top. New box. This is really just to stop them swarming, but I'll blow the bees out of this bottom box now. 
Wish me luck. Some of you might ask why I don't just pull frames out of this size. We've just got wires and it, you know, comb is just as ugly as all get out everywhere. No, no bees in the top there now. So there we have it, one down, two to go. Lid's pretty good on this one. A lot of ants. And a lot of bees. So let's, uh, I might just pull this box and check out where the queen is. Whoa. Whoops. Sometimes things don't go to plan. And here's that frame that I put in last week. And it looks like they've started to make a little bit of comb on that, which is a really good sign. That's all pollen. And here we've got, look at that, a charged queen cup. So you can see there that queen cell with the larvae and the royal jelly in it. So does that mean that they're queenless in the bottom or does that mean they're queenless altogether? Looks like a supersedure cell, doesn't it? Let's see what else we can find. Might frustrate a few of you other beekeepers that I just knock that cell down, but I like to take control of my bees rather than them take control of me. So there we go, they've been... I wonder if that was a potential swarm cell because we've got eggs all the way through there so the queen was here two days ago so we've got eggs and larvae up through here as well strange that there was that cup though let's see if we can't eyeball the queen so if you remember from last time we put a frame here, a frame here and a frame there. So that one there was a new frame and they've managed to draw that comb out. And then this one here was a new frame as well and they've managed to draw that out. And that's all laid out as well. So the queen's got plenty of room and she's functioning quite well. I wonder if the stress of the move made them think that they have to supersede her. She's in here somewhere. I'm not overly concerned. I'd like to see her. Um, plenty of brood in there. They're laying out that new comb as well. So much pollen in this hive. 
just look at the amount of pollen. So I think I'm probably just going to leave these guys one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe they could do with another frame, but I think I didn't put it in because of the width of some of this comb. Let's see if we can't squeeze another one in. I think it's pretty tight. I don't want to put one here. Maybe I'll put one on the outside here. Let's have a quick look at this outside frame. So that's just spare cells, a little bit of honey there, but nothing amazing happening. So I'm gonna blow this box out and I'm not gonna put another box on top of these guys because they've got three, maybe four frames spare. We've got two months before winter. So hopefully they can pack it down. I'm just quickly going to make sure we haven't got any larvae or eggs in here. So there's another frame that we put in two weeks ago. So we've got brood in this top box. Hatching brood. So uh, I'm going to leave this box on. Until that brood's all hatched out, There's more brood there. So we know the queen's down the bottom. So that queen excluder has been a success. Okay, let's check out this bad boy. See what it's got in store for us. So you can see here by putting that cover in and shaking out all the bees, this is fine. Look at it, it's just sitting here waiting to be either harvested. Maybe at some point I'll let the bees back in there. Maybe the ants will get it, but at least there's no bees stuck up in the top. So you can see here, probably worst case scenario, because these combs were stuck to the lid and stuck to the box underneath, these combs have all sagged in here. They look amazing, I mean there's some beautiful, beautiful honey in there, but these, this bee space here is gone, this bee space here is gone. So I'll pop this box off, we'll have a look for the queen down the bottom, and I think today's the day we're going to blow this out and get rid of it. So I'm taking the excluder with the bottom of the box because that comb is stuck to it. So it's borderline a robbing event here. We've got bees trying to get into that lid that I put across the side there. So let's see if we manage to keep our queen down the bottom. Feels like cross comb down the bottom of this frame. Okay, so what have we got? Looks like we've got some larvae here and you can probably see this white larvae there. 
keep your eye out for that queen. Brood, a little bit of larvae through here. It's a daisy. So basically this is, you know, a band of pollen here, brood, and some honey up the top there. A good functioning frame, that one. Next one in, I'd like to see some eggs. They probably need a couple of spare frames, I think. There's our queen. Look at that. Keep her on the frame. Let her go down there. So she could be on the other side of this frame. I'm just going to put this frame straight back in nice and gently. So we know where our queen is on this hive. So let's push that across there and that one across. I'm not going to do any more into this hive. That's where our frame came from. Gently, gently. Do they need a new couple of frames? They probably do, don't they? I might see if I can't pull a honey frame out of this hive, actually. This is a broken frame, and of course it's full of brood. She's a ripper of a queen. Another broken frame. Hopefully there's just some honey here. It looks like it's stuck to the bottom of the box. Still feels like it's stuck to the bottom of the box. Oh. That's brood as well. Wow. So I think I could leave these guys alone. I just feel like they need an extra frame. I know the queen's in that frame there. Let's move that across. Look at that propolis. All these frames are rotten. Sorry, B. It's never easy managing a hive like this. So that frame can come out. It's got a bit of nectar on the other side. So I'm going to give them one new frame. I think I'll actually I'll bring that one in here. Put one in there. And then we might put one in the middle. Just foundation. And then we'll put this last frame back in there. My plan is to get rid of these frames. I'm hoping that I can create a barrier here with this new comb where the queen stays within these frames maybe doesn't come out to here and then I can get rid of these before winter. I've seen a little bit of small hive beetle in this hive, but nothing terrible. Let's 
it's these frames that I'm worried about the most, but until that brood hatches, all right, pop that lid on. So I don't know if I'd call that an absolute success, but it's certainly another step in the right direction. And if you're wondering how many bees were left in those two supers I took off, it looks like hundreds. Wish me luck on my drive home. So I thought I'd process this straight from the back of the car. But there's something very wrong about this honey it's got a horrible horrible i don't even know how to describe it really bad taste so this will all be rubbish Yuck. <clears throat> and i've just had a bit of a taste of this honey here and i can't even describe it it's got a Tastes like rotten lemons. <laughs> 